Hi there everyone, it's Mark here from High Rise Digital and in this video as a quick update, quick tip actually on the block editor, something I found recently which um, has, I think it's been there for quite a long time but I just thought it was really good and really helped me a lot. So it is all about adding images to different blocks and, and specifically like inline images and this, this came up with a number of things and the first, the reason why I found this was because um, we've got here on the screen, this is just a test page, and I've got the quote block. Um, is it called quote or is it called... Uh, yes, it is. It's called the quote block. And a quote block essentially consists of a paragraph and a citation. And what, what I wanted to do was to put a little picture in front of the uh, name of the person, the citation, to show the you know, little picture of that person. I was like, how can you do that? I can't put an image block in here. Well, what I found is on the toolbar for the top of here, you can see this down arrow, and it actually has a lot of more options. And one of them is inline image. So if I click inline image, it allows me to upload an image. So let me find an image of me or something like that. Images, me, and then pick an, another thing. Pick that one. We can upload that and we can select. Now what you see is it goes absolutely huge. But if I click on the image, I can then just change the um, the size. Obviously, you could just upload a smaller image. So here, I could just do something like um, 32 pixels or something. And then you get a nice little inline image, maybe even smaller than that, actually. Um, 24, pop a space between, oops, a space between the words there. And there you go, you get a little picture of the person that's there. And you could, you could apply further styles to that and so forth in your style sheet or with whatever. Um, but I thought that was a really nice little touch to be able to do that. And it turns out that you can actually do that on a lot of blocks. So this is a video and this is a caption. And again, I can add an inline image to a caption. You can actually do it on a paragraph as well, inline image on there. And one that I thought was really good was a button. So I might want to put an icon before my button, so before my text. So in here you might have like a um, search jobs, something that we often do. Um, and then I can use the same toolbar, click the down arrow, click inline image, put my little search icon in. This one's a bit big, so again we click on it. Let's make that nice and small, maybe 16 pixels. And again, it looks a bit nice and a bit more neat and tidy. So you can put little images into things as well. So I just thought it was a really interesting uh, way of doing it. Something I hadn't found until recently. Hey ho, you may find it useful, you may not, but it's there if you want to use it and it's available in lots of blocks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.